All right, man. Check. Here we go. Uh, I don't even know how to get this thing started. You know, we do these conversations. Uh, myself, conversation series, conversation podcast, however, however the fuck you want to call it. Shout out to Bel Air. Shout out to the official sponsor. Um, they send me shit. We drink it. We post it. Special guests in the building. Um, I feel like I always say special guests, but a lot of times I don't be meaning it. But I mean, I mean it because like everybody that that, that that support me is special. Yeah. But this is like one of them special, special guests. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. We're like really special, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. My nigga Will is here. Will got What's the up, juices gang? in his What's motherfucker. Up, gang? What's up, gang? What's good, dog? I'm excited to be here, bro. I'm excited to have you. I feel like we've been trying to do something for like years now. I ain't gonna lie, it's been like uh like two. two it's three. crazy. Like, well, I think he did my first interview in the city too. Yeah. Yeah. That, I've been hearing that so. Yeah. Man, I fuck with y'all, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I told I had Trav up here, Trav Q or whatever, and um we spoke about something similar. And he was like, I did one of his first interviews or whatever. But yeah. like what I fuck with is the fact that like you guys is like getting crazy. Like you at one point like one point four million? Yeah, yeah going on one point five. <laughs> I got like three million. You know what I'm saying? We can and, and we still FaceTime. Like yeah, it's like yeah. you're yeah, like yeah. but I fuck with that because you know, a lot of niggas not like that. You feel nah, me? Nah, they let that shit get to their head. Yeah, and it's yeah. crazy because like, you know, it's easy, it seems like it's easy to the audience. I don't know how they look at it, but like mm -hmm. they probably like, man, you just bullshit and you just say that, but like, nah. It's really people out here yeah. that get a little bit of followers, get a little bit of dollars. And it's start. niggas that don't have no followers that think they got followers. <laughs> if that makes sense, I ain't gonna. I'm not trying to toot my own, but a lot of motherfuckers be feeling themselves. But guess what? You know, God humble their ass real quick. I promise. Yo, question: Have you um since we there, have you ever had like any like close friends or let's not say friends associates mm -hmm. that you thought was like real cool, mm -hmm. and then you see them elevate and then they act different towards mm -hmm. you? No, because I always shitted on my competition. Mm. So if I felt like a nigga wanted to shit on me, then I would not know my friend anyway. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my friends, they still, you know, figuring it out. And I help all my friends that's figuring it out because mm -hmm. I'm still figuring it out. Just because I'm doing what I'm doing, I still want to be bigger. I know I'm going to be bigger than I am now. You right. know what I'm saying? So I never feel comfortable. But I most definitely know, like, any nigga that try to one up on me, that ain't my friend. I'm going to shit on him immediately. Like, I'm mm -hmm. getting him out of here. Just because he's doing his little one up. That shit ain't nothing. So you probably, you, you like see it before it even happens. Yeah, I see a lot of snakes before they come. Damn. I've been around for a little minute. You know, niggas, the hiss is always coming different snakes and sizes, all that shit, bro. Yeah, that's a great point. But like, so for somebody that might not be able to, to recognize it mm -hmm. as uh, quickly as you, mm -hmm. what's one of them hisses that you would see before before it even happened? You know what I'm saying? What's something that- A lot of jealous traits, you know, a lot of like, a lot of egotistic, a lot of, um. if you hear, if you hear a nigga always talking about me, Mm. Me, 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 me. Or oh, it's I, 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 I. Like certain things like that, a nigga not like a, a team player. He mm. think for self, you know what I'm saying? So I immediately know when a nigga think like that, he gonna automatically get me out of here if, it, if, the, if the ball was in his court, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So, but I just go I just go to show you gotta have like little people skills growing up. That's a city thing too though, you know? A lot of niggas grew up in the city, they know how to maneuver between like, oh no, that nigga, Real he a cruddy thing. nigga, he a cruddy nigga, he gonna most definitely it over on you but you know him though you know Yo, what I'm saying? talk about baltimore we talking about the city mm -hmm. um how was family like how how was how it home how was the friends from home shit my family's still going through shit you know what i'm saying home still home that shit ain't nothing changed mm -hmm. just my age and my time of living that all i ain't think that's the only thing that changed shit still rough family members still on dope fitting on still popping in the city you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so shit shit ugly you know what I'm saying? can we talk about the Shit, bro. Like yeah. this conversation can go so many ways, and yeah. we gonna talk about the music. We gonna talk about the relationship thing. We gonna talk about all that. Mm -hmm. But this is what people mm -hmm. probably don't hear about, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. like, and you can correct me at any time if I'm wrong. But like, we see you, one point four, about the one point five million followers, and yeah. like you said, man, my family's still going through shit. Does yeah. it ever like hit you, like man? I really need to get these millions so mm -hmm. I can take care of my family. Mm -hmm. And like, no. does it ever like frustrate you because you got the you got the million followers, mm -hmm. but might not have a million of the dollars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. does that ever frustrate you? No, no, no. Because I made a million dollars on YouTube already. Mm -hmm. So I'm. I, I, it's really like some people don't always need saving. 
You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. motherfuckers, you like like my family that I'm talking about is like they not they not struggling, but it's my auntie's cousins and cousin cousins. But my immediate family, like my mom, my grandma, my little brother, they good. Like I call them every day. I, I have a mother with bills, and I tell you shit like she, but she independent. She don't call her son asking her son like, let me have this, let me have that. Can you help me with this? She ain't never even asked. My daddy don't even give me nothing now, but he good. Mm. And my daddy, the 18 years, he came home, tried to figure it out, had a baby, asked him for a little paper or whatever, woo woo. I helped him out for like little lawyer fees, court fees, shit like that, as I should. You know, that's my daddy. But other than that, nigga, he ain't never, my daddy good, he got right back on his feet. He ran back, he lost a million dollars gambling. Dang. You know what I'm saying? When he came home. So my family know how to make money. It's my cousins, my aunts, my uncles. It's the ones that. I really love dearly that I really can't do nothing for because mm -hmm. they are already stuck in their own ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, with the song that say "Don't save her," you know, you don't want them to be saved. That's awesome. But I, I still gotta love them for who they are. Mm. I can't. You can't take everybody out. You gonna fuck around, and go broke, trying to save everybody that don't want me saved. That's a fact. And I already tried. Did that. I did that already. I did that. You so. ever felt any like um, expectations from like any of your, your only, friends? Only my son. Damn. Only no, my no, son. not even like that. But like. Have you ever felt like people expected you to do something for them? Like, not, oh, might yeah, not be yeah, your family, yeah, but like yeah, some friends yeah, that yeah, came yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, like as soon as I got, um, so, I mean, you know, I was living in Vegas like four years ago, four or five years ago, you know, and I ain't, I ain't haven't had, I ain't buy a car. I ain't buy a car, nigga. When I ran it up, I started going crazy. Then I started buying four or five cars. I started buying four or five cars. Then I started making some paper, nigga. So I think, like, damn. Well, you eating? Can I get some? Mm -hmm. My nigga, I'm, 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 I'm working. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This shit ain't. This shit ain't like overnight, nigga. I'm working, I got this shit by myself, so I'm gonna make sure I cherish that shit so I can't just give them up for what I got and then be like, okay, since I got it, you can have it too. No way, you'll just spoil them up for you think I'm for that shit ain't, it ain't that, I ain't trying to enable you. I yeah. want you to know like, if I can do it, you can do it. I want to motivate you. You know how everybody say, for motivation for purpose. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. This for motivation okay, cool. purpose for real, nigga. This is it. I'm not giving it out. I'm just showing you motivation. But you know what? I, I feel like, you know, um, since I've been getting a little bit of a couple of hours or whatever, mm -hmm. I've noticed that, like, you know, we see it and we say it all the time, but we don't really live in it. So, like, mm -hmm. when I first started getting money, I really started to see that my lifestyle really changed. Mm -hmm. Right? So, what happens is, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of money, but I got mm -hmm. a little bit of bills too now. You get what I'm saying? So, now when people come out with their handouts, it's not that I don't want to give it to you, mm -hmm. but it's like, yo, I just, I'm just able to support myself and, and treat myself. Mm. Let me treat myself for a second. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. What happens people see you get money, they wanna, yo, can you help me? Can you help me now? It's like, yeah. yo, I've been, we talking about 20 something years of starving. Let mm. me eat a little bit. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And yeah. that's why I think it'd be, it'd be frustrating. I was wondering like, have you, probably not now, cause you've been doing this for a minute now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but like yeah. when you first started, was it like, Bro, I'm from the city. Like, yeah. let me, let me yeah. splurge a little bit. Y'all ask as soon as I get here. You know, you know, I've been, I lived in Philly, Delaware, Jamaica, Jersey, uh, Baltimore. I lived in a lot of places. So I, I gained a lot of friends. Mm. And you know, I'm a, I'm a people's person. So I always want to help motherfuckers. And I always put myself in a position where I befriend people. And then I befriend people by telling them like, what they should do with their life. Like I got like, mm. a, I, I could see their vision for them before I see their vision, or they see their vision type shit. I see, I see how they should live their life better than they can see how they live their life because they only had motivation. So people start falling in love with it, they get attracted to that. And they be like, damn, if he can help me motivate like this, then he can help me get out of the situation I'm in. But then now his problems become my problems. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So now, like you said, I got bills and all the other bills. Now his bills become my bills. Mm. Cause he's like, you my brother, bro. You say you help me. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna help you get to where you need to get to by conversation, <laughs> not physical. You know what I'm saying? Not physical attraction yeah. or physical. Physical like, game, monetary game. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. No game. You gotta get that shit out the muscle yourself. I'm just going. I could talk to you as a man. You gotta have a conversation to get to the next level. Oh, bro, let's, let's let's not even ignore the fact that, bro, game is real. Yeah, game is you, real. We hear these conversations of. What they say, a million dollars or a conversation with Jay-Z. Like, this is real. Uh, People are having these conversations, or well, $500,000 or a conversation with Jay-Z, yeah. Jay because the information that you can get from a motherfucker that, that got the knowledge is yeah. real. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, they they take for granted yeah. of you giving them advice, yeah. and it's like, yo, yeah. I need money. So now you need my advice and money. And money. Like, come on. Well, what do I get? <laughs> Fact. <laughs> what do I get? <laughs> like, nigga, what I get, you? I can, but you got to think about it like this. It's a blessing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So some things I ain't going to lie, like, I, before you know, I sometimes I give my money to a homeless motherfucker before I give it to somebody who be begging me for. 
Mm-hmm. Like if, if I see a person outside and he like got a little sign or something, he ain't walking in front of the car, he really sitting on the corner like he really like he need it, I might break a bread, I might give him a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Not because I'm trying to show Instagram, it's because he might really need that shit. Fact. A nigga just might be seeing you pocket watching me like, damn, he got some paper, he had some motion. I want to have some little bit of paper too. You don't want to have no motion though. Mm. You just want to have money. You, want money. you just want to see money. You want to have money and just to spend it on shit. Not even to invest it in shit. You want to spend it on even a little bag of weed. You want to go buy all the weed now. You want to go buy a little drinks. Mm-hmm. You want you want to be goofy. You want to spend your money on a, a good time. That's that and Instagram it, shit, bro. Yeah. A lot of niggas want they they want what they see another nigga got. Don't spend my money on a good time <laughs> and reinvest my motherfucking money. Then, and then we can give it back and then we can double back. That's what <laughs> that's what we do as a partner. That's what you do when you're trying to make it out the situation you in. One hundred percent. A lot of niggas be kept up. It's a lot of niggas be capped, nigga. Yo, it's crazy you spoke about the homeless people and shit, right? I feel like um, you said like if, if they not walking in front of the car. So you got like, I don't want to say stipulation, but you got like a, a a set of guidelines that you follow when it comes to giving homeless people money, right? For I feel me. like you don't beg. Mm. You don't beg, you get more. Ooh. And even people see a struggle. Right. People going to feel it. People know I feel it. like my guidelines when it comes to like homeless people is, I'm not going to lie, bro. Mm-hmm. I, I might be a little... A little harsher than you, but mm-hmm. if I see a young nigga like my age or younger, mm-hmm. I ain't giving him no money. Mm-hmm. Go get a job, bro. Mm-hmm. I can't, bro. I, mm-hmm. Shit, I don't know your situation. I ain't trying to judge nobody, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. shit, I can get you. I can get you in a position to get a job. You mm-hmm. feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just me personally, if I see an older woman or like no, a, even right. an older that's, man, that's, you know, I give you some bread. That be me. The old, I'm talking about the older folks. Yeah, like the young niggas. Bro, man. go get a job. I mean, everybody got their situations, of course. Oh, the water boys, I'm cool with them little young niggas. Oh yeah, because they I'm hustling cool with, though. They hustling though. Yeah, they're, I, my, they're my young niggas, but they be a little aggressive. I be telling them chill. <laughs> I like chill. You're doing too much, but they're my folks though. I Yo, like what's them. the craziest thing a water boy ever done to you? And where, where was it at? That was it in Atlanta or Baltimore? Cause nah, it was in, it was in, it was in the A. Uh, the A. It was in the A. I was um I was in the car. I'm driving out. One time I see a group of them driving out my my, my one of my little places. I was in my little buildings or whatever. I'm driving out the parking lot. I see about five or six of these little niggas. They all run me down. I had a black I got I had a black Benz truck. It was suit with the matte black paint on it, so everybody knew who it was. They're like, oh that will that will that will. Okay, pulled out to the car. I said, what's up, gang? What's up? They said, bro, you got anything for me today? I said, you got anything for me today? <laughs> I said, bro, you keep asking me if I got something for you. He said, uh, he seen my gun on my seat, on my everything I love. He seen my gun on my seat, on my lap. So I had it because they pulled up real crazy. I'm like, man, they acting crazy. Them little kid crazy. That's why <laughs> I had my, <laughs> had my gun on my seat. I ain't what's going on. I had it right there, and they looked at my shit. He said, bro, send me your gun. He said, swat, he said, swat with me. <laughs> I said, swap. Man, gun. Yo, he pulled out a big ass ratchet out here. Sheesh. He about 12 years old. These niggas. I said, never, bro. His gun was bigger than mine. Nigga said, swap with me. Nigga, I ain't Man. swap. I don't know where you get that gun from. I told him, I said, my gun dirty, baby. You can't have this. He said, I'll be bro. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> yeah, I said, man, y'all crazy. They love that shit, though. They crazy. I love it, though, because they, they just young grown folks. They just young grown folks, bro. Yo, I think the. So, Will had a Water Boys. We had a. Uh, the squeezy boys. Yeah, squeezy boys. Boy, these niggas, bro, these niggas in the city, bro, they crazy, bro. What they do is they got a trick. They don't even ask to clean your uh, windows no more. What they do is they run down when you squirt, squirt, and once that shit yeah, up, yeah, 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 I yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Once they <laughs> start motioning, you got to pay me next. Fact, right I need moving. my money. Once they run up on the window, they squirt, squirt, no, it's no, over. I'm cool. <laughs> no, don't even hit me with that. Don't, I put the windshield wipers on. <laughs> I don't even do me like that. I'm cool. Yo, them niggas are probably, tra- hey, them niggas is why they try to holler at you. Girl, like, niggas be crazy. Nah, but niggas be disrespectful, bro. But you yeah. got you to know, like, at the end of the day, like, just cause you got a little side hustle on me from the Bogart a nigga and push nigga over like he got geese some paper. Facts. Nah, niggas bro. will run down on you like it's crazy. It's crazy, but you know that's how they get their little paper though. That's how they get their money. I can't be mad at it. That's sometimes you gotta take that shit. You ain't always better to get it. Mm-hmm. Nigga ain't always give it to you. You gotta take it sometimes. Hundred percent. Let's um, let's get these drinks popping, bro. Let's, let's talk about. Let's, let's. I don't know if you want that. Uh, what you want? Do you want this? Uh, I want the casa. Yeah, I want to do. I do the casa. You know, we're a reposado type. Yeah, let's do the reposado shit. Let's do the reposado. Yeah. Shit, man. Let's uh, let's do this shot. Let's uh, shot to relationships, bro. Real relationship, Real dog. Relationship. That's a big ass shot, bro. Nah, we can sip it. Alright, we're gonna sip it. Yeah. We're gonna sip it. We're gonna sip it. 
To relationships, brother. Um, yes, sir. Yo, so I want to, um, I don't know when, when the last time you did this or if you even ever did this. What's that? I want to go back. Okay. Like, I want to go back. Like, I feel like I, I met you, I first met you, like, it was years ago. You was doing music, I think. Yeah, I was doing you was music. Doing, you was always yeah, doing, I was doing music. music. I was doing music. And then I, I had, just. I had Candy Girl that time. Like, Candy Girl. Yeah. Like CJ Hilton. So, like. How did you get into the music game? Like how did like how did you first get into this? Shit, I ain't gonna lie, I got into the music shit when I was about about nine years old. I was mm. like nine years old, but it was it was through my, my mother because I always danced. Mm. I swore I was like baby Michael. I was like a baby <laughs> Michael Jackson. I used to be trying to do a little moonwalk. I can see that. Movie shit. Yeah, I used to be that. Because you were entertaining them out, like you you were, Yeah, I'll yeah. be man, I'm calm now because it's just be, you know, it's a time to place for everything. That's I mean, you most fun. definitely. That's yeah, I mean me, yeah, I mean yeah. me. So when I was young, my mother was like, "Man, you got a, you got a little gift to gag, so you don't ever hide that." So I was like, "Yeah, it's cool, it's cool." And then she was like, oh, "I got a friend who won't put you in the studio." Mm. I'm nine years old. I'm like, "All right, okay, cool. I ain't even trying to go to the studio." It felt like a job. They made me, they made me, they try to write out lyrics and make me study other artists and like Bow Wow and all this goofy shit. I'm like, "Man, I'm not Bow Wow, not Romeo. I'm not going the same way y'all trying to make me go." So. That just wasn't me, and I I do my own thing. I like I always been my own independent. I never had a hundred friends. Everybody was my friend. Right. Like everybody wanted to be my friend. I never wanted to be everybody else's friend. Um, that, so when they seen that, they was like, man, he got his own little style. Started the music shit by just going around girls liking it. And then when I seen girls liking, I'm like, man, okay, cool. I'm in the music. That's the way to go. Yeah, I said I'm all the way in. I locked in doing it. Stopped playing around. My first record went crazy when I was about like sixteen. It was like clubbing on the rooftop. I had like a few situations with Sony, had a few situations brewing with Atlantic. This is back when I was 16. Mm -hmm. So, and this is when I was working with Jay Fetty. We had a song with Jay, Jay Fetty. Yeah, yeah, Jay Fetty. So Jay Fetty produced that first single and it was like clubbing at the rooftop. It, it went crazy. The radio stations picking it up. It went like viral, like it went viral. And I was big on TikTok, I was big on Vine. And Vine is like the TikTok now, if y'all don't know, Vine is like a TikTok, but it was like the, the original. Before you go, right? So I'm yeah. interviewing somebody, and I'm, I said something about Vine, and niggas are like, Vine? I'm Vine. like, see, I'm yeah. old, but. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But... That's the new TikTok. Right. The Vine was the new TikTok. I mean, Vine was the, is the new TikTok. So um, I had about 900K on there, and I had already a following. So when I did my music, it was an easy catch. Mm. So, and then I already kept my, I knew my lane. I never was no acting like I was this and when I wasn't. I kept a lot of girls around me, so I was a ladies man. But nobody never seen my girls or nothing like that, so they didn't know I had a girl mm. until I had my first girl and then I put made it public. And then my first relationship I made public. And then that's when it was different. But I'm a ladies man. I always had girls before I had my girl and it just nobody never knew. And that was the mysterious part. And then when they seen her, it's like oh, that shit, shit went crazy. We're gonna get there. Hold up though. Hold yeah, up, hold up. Yeah. Let's not fast forward. Man, fast forward. <laughs> Yo, so can we talk about the importance of being true to yourself? Because I feel like a lot of niggas out here that's making music, they trying to make the game, they shoot them up, kill, kill, with all that shit. You feel me? When some niggas just be ladies, man, there's nothing yeah, wrong with that, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. let's talk about you staying yeah. staying that bro and like, yeah. yo, man, I ain't into all that and I'm I'm about these girls. Yeah. And I'm gonna stay right here. Yeah, see, most definitely. I uh I always been a nigga who was like, um, I ain't playing it too much. I play, the, I play, I play what I know, mm -hmm. and I know like, okay, my folks really outside. Mm -hmm. They never had it. They told me, man, you ain't gotta do that. I never really had to, but I went outside when I didn't have to, and I still had to figure it out. Because, a lot of niggas did. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you still had to learn. What else? What are you living for? What you can talk about? What can you tell the folks? So I, I did a lot of shit when I was young, but I figured it out. You know what I'm saying? I was Virginia when I was nine years old. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you were younger than me. Nah, I think I was like twelve. Man, I was young, bro. No, I was, I was young. I was, I wasn't. I'm doing this. I couldn't even whoop you. <laughs> I'm doing a little drip drop trying to make it work, man. How did that happen? How, how did you lose it? Was it? it was, I can tell you this. Stuff. Yeah. What was it? What, yo, <laughs> drink up with me, dog. Man, you know, we, we might have quit. Like, <laughs> man, this shit crazy. Mm -mm. Mm. How did this happen? Mm. My mom gonna kill me. My mama cried, right? My mama cried, bro. She cried because my um, it was a foster. So my mother worked for DHS. Mm -hmm. And if you know about DHS, it's like Department of Human Services. Mm -hmm. So she used to work for them folks. 
and um, it was one moment where I had a babysitter that that you know she had worked with. She had a babysitter that she worked with, or whatever. Boom, make a long story short, she had two daughters. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And they was both the same age, but like one was older and one was younger. Mind you, you know, I like both of them. It was cool. We was cool. We was young, though. <laughs> Nine you, years yeah, old. Yeah, <laughs> we was young, bro. And my sister was the key to everything. She was the mm. one that was put, put, putting everything together. We was playing house. So you know about house. You bro, know this is we, crazy, you know bro. How, you know how house works. I'm going to let you finish, okay. but this I, I wish I would have went first because, <laughs> go ahead. This is wow. <laughs> this is how house works. So house, I everybody. know how to play house. We can play house. <laughs> hush, hush. <laughs> bro, we playing we play house, bro. We playing house, bro. <clears throat> You know, I'm 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 the dad, I'm the dad or whatever, you know, and they my wives or whatever. Oh shit. And then my sister is the one that's supposed to be getting us married. Man. So it was this one girl, light skin one. The alley yeah, man, my sister always <laughs> came through for a nigga, but my sister is my my, my yin and yang. We really yin and yang because she my good version of me, but like she really bad too. Like she got she still got bad tendencies where she can get me in trouble and shit like that. Always right. got me in trouble. We go in the bathroom or we go in the room. We lay down. I put my pants down. They're like, well, you know what babies do. You got to make babies and husband and wife, they do that. Man, I'm in that thing, man. I'm talking about, I never forget these pissy ass drawers. I never, ever, ever. My Yours or theirs? Theirs. Oh, wow. You know, because you, when you're a kid, you know, you yeah, a kid. Yeah. That's pissy pussy. Like, <laughs> man, come on, man. I, I never, ever would. <laughs> I never would thought that I ever would ever, like, you know what I'm saying, try to be going crazy like that at a young age. But I turned up, you know, I turned up. And then I was like, nah, not again. And I started moving on after that. I was like, nine years old, 10 years old, 11 years old. I started with some older women, 13, 14. Yo, so my um, my first time, right, it was something similar, but mm -hmm. it was with like my babysitter. Mm -hmm. So not her children, it was mm -hmm. like my babysitter. Mm -hmm. And we like, we could play house. I'll never forget my first time seeing a pussy. Mm -hmm. She had, she, she, I was young though, mm -hmm. but she was mature. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, I'm like, yo, what's all this hair? I, I'm like, what the fuck is all this hair? Like, it's disgusting. Like, I really act, but guess what? Yeah, we, yeah. we was playing house. We playing house. We was playing house, bro. So when you said it, I'm like, yo, what can we take? Let's drink to that. We, we playing play house. We playing play house. house. We playing house on me. Mm -mm. So when you said it, I'm like, oh, he going to think of mine because it's so similar, but it was it was house, an actual yeah. babysitter. Let me actually, it's not to get on my Dr. Phil soapbox, but like, I got to have these serious conversations. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, you being so young, like, do you feel like what you were seeing at that age kind of like forced you or rushed you to get into having sex? Yeah, I got molested as a young nigga too, though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know, um, from my from my people's age, not from a male, it was from a female. Shit, and me so, too. I was about to say, I spoke on that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, so, she's my babysitter. We're mm -hmm. not supposed to be doing that. These are my these are my family from a these families from fam these families. I don't mm. want to drop these names because they okay. family no, no. They, or they Respect. relationships Respect. or whatever. Yeah. But they family, but it's really close. They had their friends, grown big titties. I'm talking about grown big women, grown women. I'm young. I ain't, my shit can't even. You don't know what the fuck. You, is. I don't know what's going on. She put titties in my face, pair of my whoop dee. You know what I'm saying? It, and 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 this was exposing me to like, okay, what's going on? Now I'm happy. I like this shit. It makes you, you know? curious. So now I'm curious. So now I'm trying to figure out porn. Then that, that so it really was. Um, you've been exposed at a young age. I was exposed at a young age to some negative shit, but it, it, it helped me. I feel like it did help me, but it can ruin some people. You so, know what I'm saying? I'm being honest. I'm not gonna lie. I never. It's wow. I never really had this conversation. I um maybe once, but like. I feel like I was exposed to uh, sex at a real, really young age as well, right? Mm -hmm. And I just talk about how, like, it was my um, babysitter and things like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think, like, as I got older, I really was able to understand why and how I treated women the way I treated them. Because mm -hmm. I always saw them one way. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I'm not making an excuse to that because exactly. once you know better, you do exactly. better. But, like, when I was coming up, I only saw it one way, right? Mm -hmm. I only saw it as a as a exchange of something, right? So, like... When I, I, I understood that, like, yo, when I first got introduced to sex, of course, it was babysitter. Then, mm -hmm. like, my mom used to have, like, uh, like the drug dealers from around the way. Like, they used to uh, they used to um, rent my room out. Mm -hmm. And, like, as a youngin, and still to this day, I'm like, my mom's just grinding. She had to mm -hmm. do what she had to do to get this paper. Mm -hmm. But what I didn't understand mm -hmm. was I'm hearing them have sex in the room, mm -hmm. and I'm getting excited. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that at the time mm -hmm. until I was mm -hmm. ten, we 10 years old. Yeah. I'm like... 
oh, I see you this. You don't know what's going on. You just know what's going on. So now every time I every time I see a woman, I associate her with sex, mm -hmm. and I'm sexualizing women. Right mm -hmm. now, when we t we hear a woman talking about um, massage uh, misogynistic men and things mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. it comes it comes from our upbringing. Mm -hmm. You feel mm -hmm. me? I feel yeah. like a lot of men don't have these conversations. They and don't. When you said it, I wanted to speak to that because it's like it's not. It's not cool for, ch for for a grown woman to be yeah. putting her titties in a yeah, child yeah, face. You feel not, me? Like we not, can joke about it all we it's want, not, it's but not. it's not cool for a nine year old to go to other nine or ten or eleven year olds and want. You get what I'm saying? Because they yeah. shouldn't be exactly. thinking about that. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. So like again, not to be on no soapbox, but like no, I, I use sure. these moments because sure. we men and we can talk about those sure. times. Yeah, that's why I said it can hurt a lot of people. Mm. It can hurt a lot of people. It didn't damage me as I as as it, it, you know some people would, but. Nah, some people can come out rapists, some people come out pedophiles, some people like people people don't know how to take that information in so fast and they just don't know how to really run with it. And it's really not no it's not no green light for this shit. You don't right. really get no green light and it's just because it didn't hurt me don't mean it's, it's okay. Right. It wasn't ever exactly. okay. You know mm. what I'm saying? It just was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Even better, right? Like not even better. I don't, I don't mean to say that, but like looking at it from a different perspective, not even a green light. It's not even yeah. no yellow light. Not and what I mean yellow, by that yeah. is like Cause honestly, like you said, it ain't help you. It ain't hurt you. Mm. But it's either go mm. or it stop. Yeah. And a lot of niggas can't recognize that mm. red light. You feel me? So like yeah, they, yeah. that's why they they go past the yellow. So it's either yes or no. It's like you either get it or you don't. You mm. feel me? It's really no in between when it comes to right. this. Because right. then when you try to have an in between, mm. you get in situations mm. and now you in jail. Mm. Now mm -hmm. you're a rapist. Now mm -hmm. you're a pedophile. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So mm -hmm. like it's it's good that it, it didn't harm you or whatever yeah. like that, man. But um, I learned though, and I had to I had to learn I had to learn right from wrong because I always felt like I was smarter than everybody I was around. Mm. If that makes sense, like just because somebody else was uh, older than me, I felt like maturity ain't got no age on it. Mm -hmm. You know, maturity ain't got no age on it. It's mm -hmm. just uh. A nigga can be a nigga can be thirty a nigga can be thirty years old and still act like a twelve year old. That's a fucking fact. You know what I'm saying? So when I was young, I already knew my folks was fucking up. When I saw them, like, oh man, you finna get locked up. Damn. Oh man, you finna do this. Man, you finna. Do that. I just knew. I know right from wrong. So I always, they they said, oh, you must know it all. That's what they always tell me. I must know it all. So that was my biggest. That's my biggest downfall in my situation, my relationships. I was Mister Know It All. Wow. So all my friends wanted to fail <clears throat> because they wanted to learn on their own instead of me. Like, yo, bro, don't do that. Instead of me telling them, they feel like I'm trying to be their daddy. How but, frustrating is that? Nah, no, it ain't frustrating <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't frustrating me at all. Cause I look what I look what I'm at, look what they at. Mm. So you know, they knew I was right. They're like, man, listen, if you listen to Will, maybe you're not gonna get everything right, but you are gonna get right though. Right. I'm not saying I'm God. I'm not saying that. I'm wrong. I, I just gambled a day. Mm. I gambled a day on fucking roulette, man. I put two hundred dollars on roulette. I came up a thousand dollars before I came here. Came up a thousand dollars trying to still hit two bands. Lost all my t my thousand dollars like that. Then I, then I put another two hundred on there again. I lost four hundred now. Then I went in and did it again. Then another t and that's what's that six hundred now. And I'm back again. I'm still trying. They hit me. <laughs> trying to get that shit back. But that's basically but you, yeah. You win, you lose. You win. That's exactly what I'm saying. So I'm, I don't know everything, bro. I just I just know certain things. Common sense. No in fact. I feel like for me, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes. If it's somebody I care for and I'm trying yeah. to give you some guidance and you don't listen, mm -hmm. it be frustrating. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm getting older now, so I'm learning how to let it go. But it's like, if I care for you, I'm like, yo, don't put your finger, don't put your hand on the stove. Nah, I got to learn myself. I'm put my hand on the stove. It's like, yo, let don't put your fucking, yeah, let but you got to learn. It's a skill. That's a skill that you got that I'm still learning to get, nigga. I got locked up. Shout at, out to you I for got, that. Man, for sure. I got locked up at 11 years old, gang. Mm. I got locked up at 11. And then I got, I got, uh, no, I got in trouble for stealing iPads. So I'm, or my little brother told on me to the police. But mind you, he don't know right or wrong. Mm -hmm. at, 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 but it's 11. We young. But then I got locked up at 14 <clears throat> in PA and I went to Glen Mills for two months. So when I got locked up in PA, it's for Grand Theft Auto. So like how you said, everybody try to tell you what to do, what to do. I'm a person, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people that's like that, some people gotta learn, you know, cause I had to learn. My mom was like, you gonna get locked up this year. Cause I didn't listen to her. I was smoking weed at 13. I was smoking like, and this is with the white folks, you know, smoking bowls, we doing little paper joints mm. and shit like that. Nigga don't even know how to even roll weed. Nigga just smoke weed. Nah, I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. I had to end up getting locked up to know like, okay, that's what jail feel like. I don't try to be in. Mm. And I never got locked up ever since. I'm not going with I don't, I don't get locked up in the future, but you know, I ain't never got locked up since. So it's like, oh, that's moving. good, bro. It's that's why I said like this. We talking about it, right? And we ain't even get to like. No, the, the public relationship yet, yeah, like yeah. The, the the music yet, yeah, like yeah. it's like it's a lot that we could talk about because 
It's real shit. I'm a closed book, bro. You know, I, I show people what I want them to see for real, for mm. real. You know what I'm saying? So nobody really know Will. They only see Will. Mm. You know, like, I don't even know me. You know, that mm. makes sense. Like, I'm still figuring myself out as I grow older. Like, I'm I'm, a, I'm young, but I'm still growing, gang. I'm just, I got a lot, of, I got a lot of world to see. You know right. what I'm saying? I, got, I ain't never been to Dubai yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't been to Australia. You trying to go? Yeah, of course, <laughs> man. Yeah, but the first thing <laughs> we go, we go on a mini trip, man. man. I've been working my I ass mean, off. Man, I be trying to go, man. <laughs> Wifey, I'll be there. I'll be, I'll be right back. I'm going. In fact, Dubai like my bit. girl, like <laughs> it's some things. I'm a. Yeah, we got because we can go as men. I just want to have fun and work yeah, my ass yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that time. It's yo, that time. <laughs> God damn, yo. So speaking of relationship, this is your first public relationship. Mm-hmm. But it seemed like I saw Will, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I always equate niggas by their numbers. I'm sorry because mm-hmm. I be watching because yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I've been growing. Yeah, my yeah, niggas yeah, running yeah, around yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I saw you. You might have had like, bro. You might have had. It might have been six. It might have been thirty or sixty. It might have been sixty. Sixty thousand mm-hmm. followers. I mm-hmm. swear to God, mm-hmm. we did the interview. I don't know what happened. I look up, and I see like five hundred thousand followers. Mm-hmm. I see the relationship. I see YouTube. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, how man. did this? Like, how did you go from not showing nothing, Shit. being clo- being a closed book to, boom, I'm in a relationship. Show I'm everybody. Lie to you, how man. the hell that happened? So to correct it, I did have two hundred. You did. Yeah, you're right. Yep. You had two. You had two hundred one. You you're right. <laughs> my bad. That was my, that was my number for a minute. It, you. I apologize. You I exactly two, right. Yeah. Two hundred one. I'll never forget. Yep. You're right. <laughs> I, had, I had gotten beef. I had gotten beef with some some niggas. Remember them little niggas? I, did, I had like interviewed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We we. I mean, we had like a little. Anyway, make a long story <laughs> short. Yeah. So I had some smoke going on with that. That that kind of fumbled my bag a little bit. Cause I brought niggas in my world, and my world was already good by mm. itself. Like I was working the juice. Like my first show was out there at fucking paparazzi. Mm-hmm. No, not paparazzi. Um, it was so the skating place is out there in skating. Um, fuck. Out uh, there by security. By security. Yeah. Right across from the radio station. Yeah, right there. Shit. What's that? Skateland. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so five thousand kids came out to that event. Mm. That was my first ever event. Nigga, that shit was sold out. I'm talking about like baby Michael. I stood on the top of the rail like this, waving. It was like it was like life changing. Like, and then I brought niggas in my world. Mm. So, so while everybody see my motion in the city, they didn't have that motion in the city. I brought niggas in my situation. Niggas ended up thinking they better than me. Ended up trying to fuck up my situation. So I got stagnated, and I ended up going to Vegas. But I was in Connecticut, working with some label folks. Only reason why I was in Connecticut for a year because I was working with some label folks. And it was a real label situation, but it wasn't on paperwork. And for those that's watching, you got to understand this. Labels going to come left and right. Fuck them labels, bro. Mm. If them labels don't love you, they ain't going to never love you. You know what I'm saying? If they don't come to you and say, like, you a priority, we want to make you a priority, they ain't going to make you a priority. So don't keep knocking on their door. And that's what I was doing. I was knocking on their door because I needed help. In a moment, because uh, I felt like I needed them, but I didn't. It's niggas. No, wait, we still gonna get to this. Yeah, we still stay where you at, yeah. bro. Because it's niggas out there that's not believing you. They not trying mm-hmm. none of that. Mm-hmm. I need the label. I'm gonna knock on their door. Mm-hmm. How do you know that? Like, how, like, how, how can you feel it? What did you learn? How did you yeah. learn that? Yeah, uh, the label don't like nobody. That like, the label like a regular person. I, I get money, nigga. Mm. Uh, labels are get money, nigga. So all get money, niggas like get money, nigga. I need my yeah. yeah I need my it. return on interest. That's it. <laughs> you, I need to know if you got motion. Yeah. If you ain't have no motion, then I don't, I ain't checking for you. Mm. I don't give a fuck about you. If you're not making your own money, why am I gonna give you some paper? Thanks. Unless you a dummy mm. and you just let me to take control and you just willing to be a puppet. If you want to be a puppet, it's a hundred of them niggas out there. You see, they they got them all in labels. A lot of these artists, uh, industry niggas are puppets. They can't, they can't say nothing. They gotta go in the room with another man. They gotta suck their wood. They gotta go in there and act goofy. They gotta go in there and fuck another person. There's a lot of goofy shit they gotta There's do. There's a lot of weirdo shit. There's a lot there. of goofy shit they gotta do. And I, I mean, toot my hat off to you that's willing to do that shit just to be famous. I ain't not toot to my be, hat off to none of them niggas. Not fuck to, that. Not to be rich though. They, they I'm, I'm saying they trying to be famous. I know. I ain't to toot my rich. hat off. To, I'm keep my hat on because that's listen, some weird shit. I let, I let. <clears> if whatever rock your boat, rock your boat. I'm not saving nobody. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I let man, I can't. I let if a nigga walk across the street right now. He better get hit by a bus. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. 
Yeah. What I'm gonna do? That's him. He a grown ass man. That's his fault. He mm-hmm. boy, he lied. He laid in that bed. He dealt with it. I like this one. I you know fuck with this one. And that's me. I always been me. That's why I can't. I try to save too many people, and it bit me in my ass. Mm. Ain't nobody saving me, gang. Then nobody even think about saving me mm. when I need help. Mm. And I caught a lot of motherfuckers. I caught a lot of motherfuckers. I mean, I talk about a lot of niggas. I'm like, can you send me a little bit of woo woo woo? I'm not trying to go chat. I ain't, I ain't got it, bro. I'm fucked up. <laughs> Damn. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, cool. I figure it out. So you go to Connecticut, then you move to Vegas, and I'm assuming that's where you met your girl. No, I met my girl in Connecticut. Okay. So while you was doing the label thing, while doing the label thing, I met my girl in Connecticut. Mind you, I met her on Instagram. I thought she was a, I thought she was a catfish. Mm. I didn't even think she was real. Like, I was like, man, who this girl? Right That's now? how I be. You see somebody fine. Yeah, you be like, like, man, who the fuck? <laughs> I said, man, I need her ASAP. I said, who is this right here? So I DM'd her. I said, yo, you trying to smoke? I don't know who you is, but you trying to smoke. Like, yo, that I, was a pickup line. I, I, I'm coming straight like that. You I ain't lying to you. I ain't, ain't want to come <laughs> vulgar and be like, yo, you trying to, ooh, I'm trying, you trying to smoke? You trying to catch a vibe? Like, ooh, what's your name? Ooh. And she was like, um, she was like, yeah, that's we can smoke, woo woo. But she, obviously, that's a little initial intent. I'll be gonna hang out, right? You know what I'm saying? Because I seen her had smoking pictures on her page. Okay, okay. So I'm like, oh, she a weed here like me. And mind you, I'm having a lot of gas. A lot of gas. Come on, let's finish that then, match. Okay, Stop come on. <laughs> it's story time. Well, Will got the juice. I'm fucking so, with it. So I'm having a lot of gas. I'm having a whole lot of gas on you, bro. I got you, dog. Say. It's my first time ever doing that. I'll never pour a nigga there on man, drink, man, bro. Man, I pour you a drink. Yeah, yeah, and I got you, know you back. Yeah, yeah. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. It's a brother thing. But I most definitely, um, I most definitely uh, saw her, and I was initially attracted to just her, 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 her aesthetic. Mm. I was like, damn, mind you, I didn't know what she did. I didn't give a fuck about what she did. I saw her, I said, let's hang out. My homeboy named Clay, I'm still cool with him. I'm a Jamaican partner, you know, I'm from Yard. I got all my Jamaican folks, you don't know. I lived in Jamaica for uh, four years until my stepdaddy died. I used to live in Kingston, Red Hills. Mm-hmm. I used to go to Queens Park Elementary School, so I'm really tapped in in the yard. So I'm really a yardie, like this is my folk. All my family, Jamaican and shit like that, we tapped in. So mind you, while I met my brother Clay, he a Jamaican brother, so that's how we got locked in. He used to always be there for me, so he took me to go see her. I didn't even have no transportation to go see Shorty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we in a busted down whoop dee going to go see some badass coochie. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> in a busted like, down whoop dee you want to see some badass? <laughs> <laughs> On oh, me, so we driving down there in the um in Queens. We went to it's called Pegasus Lounge. We was in Queens at Pegasus. And Pegasus is no longer there. So you drove from Connecticut to, to Queens. Queens. <laughs> My friend drove there for me. In the hoop. In the hoop, dude. Man, that bit was cold, bro. It was cold all No heat. <laughs> no heat. Yeah, it, it was bro. worth it. Look at it, it now, worth it. boy. It was worth it. It was worth it. Now all my air, we got heat in every room. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we got heat in every car. <laughs> every room, every car. Every, we got heat on the seats. <laughs> on the seats, man. <laughs> nah, no, for sure. So you go to sure. Queens? Yeah, so I go to Queens. I meet her at the Pegasus Lounge or whatever. She come outside. She was skinny, little petite, cute, little big-headed girl. I was like, oh, she cute. Oh, I like this little fake, big-headed. Um, walked in there, and she was beautiful. I was like, damn, I'm in love, immediately. Mm. Like, I was like, damn, I'm in love with this girl. And mind you, I had girls before. And I'm having girls while I'm, before I'm getting with her. But I did, you know, we didn't put all eggs still on my back. Yeah, I'm did. like, yeah, I'm will. You know what I'm saying? I'm still having motion. But I was just like... Damn, this she different. It's something about like, it, yeah. And I, you know, I'm attracted to. So I'm like, man, I like this one right here. She kind of different. So I got rid of all my other ones mm. immediately. Soon as I got home that same night, I said, "Y'all bitches ain't it." Bye. <laughs> it's a dog. Bitches ain't it. Bye. So I was like, man, where you at? Where you coming? And she caught the Uber. The next thing, smoking to the crib, to Connecticut. To Connecticut. Wait, from Queens? From Queens. <laughs> so she seen me one time. Over there, we kissing and being all extra inside the little dance floor, right? <laughs> kissing the extra. That <laughs> motherfucker. Ah! <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. 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 So we come from the club. I'm like, what you finna do? What you got going on? She go home. You know, we can't be extra. She ain't trying to do that. So we go, she go, to, she go home. I she go, go back home. to Queens? She go to Queens. I go back home, back to Connecticut. So so while I go back to Connecticut, everything A1, right? Everyone A1. So I, two days later, three days later, I say, look, come to the crib in Connecticut. Come to the crib in Connecticut. She say, all right, okay, cool, I'll come. Mind you, I, she was, I, 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 I thought she probably was expecting me to Uber her there, 
Ooh, ooh. She didn't ask me for nothing. Mm. And uh, she was real. Like, a she, real one. She came through by herself. She pulled up and I was like, damn, wow. Big truck too. Uber XL truck. Can I be ignorant for a second? Go ahead. All you hoes that's always asking for something, Man, it shows that Man, it's what? better when you just keep it playing. If you're talking about pushing P, you gotta keep it playing. Just do your own thing so you get your own money. Do you, you feel me? Nigga. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make sure you get paid back tenfold. It's tenfold. A lot of girls out here they they playing the game wrong. What yeah. they doing is I'm an Instagram chick. I need this. You gotta do this. Nah, if you really wanna be. I'm giving too much game. Yeah, no, 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 no. Keep it going. Tell him. I'm just saying, like, if you really want to push P, mm -hmm. ladies, mm -hmm. show a nigga that you got your own. Mm -hmm. And if you show me you got your own, mm -hmm. you ain't never gonna have to pay for nothing else. Yeah, I'm telling 100%. you. hundred percent. That's why that's, that goes back to me telling me about begging. Mm -hmm. You know, that goes to me about uh, there's people that just act like they ain't got no motion. If you ain't got emotion, what the fuck you look like? I'm finna give you some motion. I'm gonna push you. I'm not finna give you my motion. <laughs> I don't give my motion up. I enhance your motion. Mm, you know what I'm saying? That's facts. what it's about. I'm gonna enhance your motion while I got my own motion. Facts. So while she pushing her pee, she come pull up on me. While she pull we push your pee together, but <laughs> you feel me? Mind you, I ain't even pushing no pee at this time. I'm just, I'm just really just still having a name. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm really capped out. I like that. You know bro. what I'm saying? I'm really capped out. Can we out. pause for a yeah. second, bro? Yeah. I like that you like. You yeah. see how like I fuck because yeah. like you always like I'm will, yeah. but you can still be like yo. I ain't gonna lie. I'm yeah. capped out. Yeah, I was capped out. Yeah. I like it, bro. I, was I love out. it. The fact, I fact the fact that you can. Because you here. Yeah, for you sure. Saying? For sure. And what, like I said, for when sure. I met you, you was lit. For but sure, sure. the fact that you can be like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah, I was capped she out. She was pushing P, I was capped out. She was having motion, I ain't had none. Mm. And she, and she, I'm having all these followers in the world, but I had no dollars in my hand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, how can, before we keep going, can we talk about that? Because, mm. like, I think Partisan Fontaine said this. He, I, I think he said he, like, he had a, like a, a local job. He got all these followers, but he still gotta work at a regular job and niggas see him. Mm hmm. How frustrating was that? All these followers in, and it's like I'm capped out, bro. Y'all don't even know. Niggas is looking at me like I'm. See, the reason why you get capped out in the follower game is followers. You have to have a product. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you now that I know this, mm -hmm. you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's it's a difference. So if you have followers, don't think that your followers not dollars. Them followers are dollars. You gotta give them something. You just to have to give them something to purchase. And you are the purchase, as in walking billboard, but you have to have something to have them to purchase, as in like, if I see it on him, or if I see him doing it, if I see him doing it, gotta be something. Now, I was just showing them a lot of good times. Mm. I was making good memes, making, having good quotes. I was doing that shit. All oh, that shit cool, but it wasn't a product. It was, a, it was an engagement. Mm. It was an attraction. It's content, mm. but it wasn't product. You so was I talking. Make no, I wasn't. Make, I ain't make no money. I bet you ain't know you about to come talk like this. Man, I had to figure this shit out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So He's now, talking heavy. So now I, that's why I can say I made an M off of YouTube. I figured it out. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Let's go back. When yeah. can I get? She yeah. was pushing P. I'm capped out. I'm capped out. So I'm over here trying to figure it out, right? So she come stay over the crib for four days. Mm. This ain't even my motherfucking house. This is my manager's home. Wait for Rick and she, is, she stayed at? Is, Did she know that? Did you tell her? Nigga, she seen it. it it's a man. I'm in Connecticut, Greenwich, Connecticut. Greenwich, Connecticut is one of the richest uh, zip codes in America. Okay. It's like, it's like everybody who's a somebody, kids, all the white parents. That's probably the, where like 50 was staying when he got his yeah, crib. Yeah, 50, 50 had a crib out there. Yep. Okay. And Pete did he got a crib out there. Okay. So mm -hmm. this is, these the lifestyles these niggas live in. So she come out there and see it. So I'm, so it looked like I'm doing my thing. My, my, she don't know me. Mm -hmm. She don't know me. I'm capped out though. Big mansion, eight bedrooms in that motherfucker. It looked like I'm having that shit, but it ain't my crib. And my manager crib, my manager, what that my old manager. My manager wasn't even having like that because she was getting paid like that from a white motherfucker that she was getting child support off every month. You feel mm. me? So everybody capped out. Everybody capped out. You know what I'm saying? So only one that had real emotion was my girl. Mm. And she seen an angel in a hellhole. Wow. I was really the one getting milk. I used to write records. I wrote records for about 300 artists that I don't even know where they at now. I wrote 300 records and they took the whole hard drive. We had Metro Boomin, had London on the track, and had all these big producers that that's known that I just gave, they just took the whole idea, took all my songs, all everything. They took all my music. But she was in there staying four days, made everything uncomfortable. Her coming was like, he's out of his spell. Now I can't control Will no more. Now this motherfucker better change his life. And mm. she seen, they seen it before I seen it. Mind you, I'm just having sex. I'm initially attracted to it, like how you said, we just thinking about one thing. 
I wasn't even thinking about building. I was thinking about just fucking. I'm like, damn, she's so beautiful. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm fucking a baddie. Man, I'm, I got to get my energy back. This ain't it. Like, and I ain't going to lie. I, I'm up for folks that's listening. I ain't going to lie. Women that you a baddie, you got to know that pussy power. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That pussy could bring a, a dark nigga back to light. I promise you it can. It could bring a light nigga back to the dark. Because it's all about that pussy power. That pussy power. Because it, it's, it's, you know what it is? Hate to get on my soapbox, but it just is yeah, what it is. Yeah. It's the power of the P, mm -hmm. but it ain't really the pussy though. Mm -hmm. It's really the person, mm -hmm. and because the pussy is can be good, mm -hmm. but if if your girl wasn't who she is exactly. as a person, exactly. A guy had emotion with the potion. Come on, guy had emotion with the potion. We talking? Can we? Bro, gotta have emotion with the potion. I ain't think we was gonna have this conversation. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm saying though, gang, you know this shit on the flow with me. That's why I don't really be telling anything when I got going on. But a nigga most definitely uh, knowing what's going on. So and she I, helped you really like tap into. She tapped in. She was she was doing YouTube, gang. She was doing. She YouTube. was doing hair tutorials or something. Makeup, makeup tutorials. tutorials. So while she doing makeup tutorials. I ain't even give a fuck about her nigga. So I'm not even worrying you about that. Paying the I didn't even look at her like the Come even, on. She, man, I didn't even know she did that. I didn't even know what her profession was. So wait, I think I peeped this and you let me know if I'm wrong. She doing a makeup tutorials. And her makeup tutorials is lit. Well, I'm gonna say okay for, for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. Just just just, mm -hmm. just follow mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Let me know if I'm wrong though. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like I looked at this. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong. Mm -hmm. Did she or did she not turn her makeup YouTube into the couple's YouTube? Exactly. Oh. Okay. That's a keeper. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Oh. Okay, cool. Okay, she cool. sacrificed okay, what cool. she built okay, cool. for y'all. Okay, cool. Ooh. Okay, cool. You know what's going on. Oh, my God. Yeah, you better love me. Nah, nah, you know what's going on. So, Damn. So she, Can we drink it? I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's we, a, yeah, we got, we got bro, you. We got you. That's you a, we might as well get, I got mine right here. You might as well get yours right there. Every girl ain't doing that. No, nah, and a lot of girls selfish. And you know you know, so you know what it is? Is She said... She said, Daddy, you, you you lit. Okay, okay, I get that. You will. I get that. But Will ain't having no motion. You know what I'm saying? So let me have, let me build your name up some more. Come on. And we built each other's name up. And, th and then not just build your name up, we built our pockets up. Come on. You know Yo, I got chills. I swear <laughs> to God, I'm not making yeah. this up. Bro. For real, game. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. 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 Bro. That's amazing. I, like, I don't give like cameras to the side, yeah, bro. For real. That's amazing, Crazy bro. I'm it. so happy, yeah. like because, bro, you hear so many people like saying relationship goals, mm -hmm. just looking at celebrities mm -hmm. as like you. But this is real, and I mm -hmm. can feel it. Yeah. And, and the fact that you can be like, "Yo, I was capped out. Yeah. My girl mm -hmm. did this." Mm -hmm. But guess what? Mm -hmm. And you ain't even say it, but mm -hmm. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. My girl never had to worry about nothing else ever mm -hmm. in her life. Ever in her life. Ever. Mm -hmm. Ever mm -hmm. in her life. So, so, and the reason why I say that, like, and we keep a lot of things on wraps. Like, you know, we we got some things that I'm, I'm going to end up break, breaking to our channel soon. We got more information that we want to give out soon that, that we do. Like, the Gold Juice community is big as fuck now. And they be, I'm having folks watching this for four or five years. Mm -hmm. They talking about, man, I've been watching us since I was in high school. You know what I'm saying? Folks saying like they graduated college. They watched us. They still watching us. Like, I, and I put that shit on the table with me and my girl. And a lot of motherfuckers try to be like us. There's a lot of it's a lot of people that's in the industry right now that watch everything that I got going on. I'm talking about everything I got going on. That that's like they like the labels, the labels send them to my page and be like, watch this nigga. Because you got the motion now. Because I got the motion. And they like, they like, you need you to ain't be capped like out. this. And I and I do this shit because I want to. <laughs> And it's genuine, not mm -hmm. because I'm doing it for likes, I'm not doing it for, I put my girl on my page as though it's her page, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. I put ass and titties, I kiss my bitch, I suck, suck her feet, lick her ass, I do whatever she want me to do on camera or off camera. But motherfuckers not like that. But girls wish they, they nigga was like that. Mm -hmm. They wish they nigga put it on the table. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So if a nigga don't put it on the table and they come to my page and they see Will doing it, they gonna be like, damn, baby, why you gonna be like this? Mm -hmm. And then that nigga like, man, fuck that nigga Will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was hate will. Yo, can I ask you? I want to go like off topic for it's on mm -hmm. topic. Follow mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. but I want to ask you a question. It's, it's kind of weird, mm -hmm. but when I look at when I think of it, you said a lot of people come to your page mm -hmm. because this couple things is serious now. Mm -hmm. We can't ignore that. Mm -hmm. A lot of niggas capped out. 
Yeah, <laughs> but bear with me though. I want because I, I'm curious because like you and Olivia, like gold juice is a really a thing. It's a brand. It's a brand. When we talk about the relationship thing, mm -hmm. I think the first ones that I saw ever, mm -hmm. and we got to give them that credit, was um, DK. DK. Okay. Yep. De'Aaron and Ken. Mm -hmm. Exactly where I was going. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when you see what they went through and how they, like, they separated and broke up, do you ever look yeah. at it like, damn, man, like I wish they would have kept going because nah. they were the ghost to that. No, no, no. If they don't want to take that situation to how they need to, we'll do it. I like that. That's a great answer. Gonna get fed. Yo, that's a, bro. On, I was not, bro. That's what a great it? fucking. I was not expecting that yeah, shit. That shit. It's gold juice. We ain't worried about nobody else. Mm. You feel me? Straight up. So we gonna be the biggest of the biggest, and we gonna be the only ones lasting that, because it's real love here, bro. So that's a fact. I love that. It's crazy because when I look at it, I look at it like, damn, man. Like, not saying that you're not wishing mm -hmm. the best, but it's like. Mm -hmm. I can I really appreciate what mm -hmm. they did to the mm -hmm. culture for the culture for they the, put for the culture and they put the coach they put they put black love exactly on right so when they I didn't see put them relationships separate, on yeah yep, you so right let's clear that up real yep, quick right. they they most definitely put black love on they did that but when it kind of this real love it's hard to find real love mm. and they know what gold you said like. I'm not into drama. I'm not into the bullshit. I'm not into the rah rah. I make music. I be around girls, but they know I'm respectful. My mm. girl trusts me. My girl don't gotta worry about what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? And I was in the shade room one time for about some bullshit about a girl FaceTiming, but it was about music. Mm. Never ever on my on my body been extra, been disrespectful, made my girl look dumb. Never, bro. Yo, I, I, there's so much to talk about as black men, bro. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to relationships, mm -hmm. I I always say like, and this is real. Mm -hmm. You really can judge somebody how they treat that woman. Of course. You get what I'm saying? Like, of there's course. a lot of men out here who want to have this real nigga conversation, right. but ain't treating that relationship right. 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 I can't really trust a nigga right. who ain't. And it's gonna sound corny, nah. but it's real. You're let's right. talk about it, bro. Yeah, let's talk Your about girl. It. Is the one that lay next to you every night. Mm -hmm. When you capped out, mm -hmm. she the one that put life in you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you doing your girl wrong, mm -hmm. I can't trust you because I ain't nowhere near it's as right. close. I don't mean not even half of what your girl mean to you. Yeah. And you can just do anything to her. Imagine what you could do to me. Exactly. I would never trust a nigga, exactly. and, and I don't want. I don't want to seem corny. No, no, you're I'm not, not trying you're to not, get no followers for this. A lot of niggas be treating their women like the the nigga on the street, and treat their friends like the woman in the bed. Mm. I be fit. I, it's, it's mine. I mean, I just gay. It's mind bottling to me because I be thinking like, how can you sit here and treat that one nigga right there? I mean, look at look at dog situation for a prime example. Look at everybody's situation in a prime example. Look at Nick. Look at everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's so many close people around you that be the first one that off you. Mm -hmm. That's a nigga. That's your homie. That's your friend. That's your bro. That's a lot. How many times you gonna keep seeing all these niggas get caught up from their friends and these diehards? I ain't never hear nobody say their girl did them bad. And I let's be, look at and, and we gonna look at the negative. That. Let's let's look at let's look at Gucci. Goo let's let's look Come at on. let's look at two chains. Let's look at let's look at all of these. Let's look at Ti. Yeah. And, yeah. and I say that to say and, and their women are standing next to him. Let's talk about Ti. Let's talk about Ti. And that's a real situation. That's a real situation. Mm -hmm. Tiny and Tip is a real situation. They really should be the crown of the kings of the situation because like they stick it together. That's what it's about. It's about sticking together. And knowing what we got going on. Mm -hmm. It's about you the queen. I'm the king. You the queen. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm not. I'm not your homie on the block. I ain't your friend. I ain't your cousin. I ain't, I'm you, my wife. I'm your husband. That's mm. it. And we gonna stand. We gonna rock together. We gonna ride together. When any come, when any, anything come, we gonna handle it. They get together. That's what it is. A lot of motherfuckers be like, man, fuck it. I'm finna go with my niggas. That's about my niggas. But my bro, man, you must be fucking them niggas. You, know <laughs> you must be smoking some. You, you, you must some be, bullshit. You, you must be fucking them. You must yeah. be fucking them niggas. No scat. Because like, at the end of the day, I'll never, I never let a nigga come around me. That I know he talked bad about his own girl. Mm. If you talk bad about your own girl, to I me, know you violated me. Like I know a couple niggas that came around me one time talk bad about that girl. Talking about, man, that's why I don't really do this shit for this bitch and you baby. Damn, gang, so I know you catch feelings about me. You probably saying, fuck Will. <laughs> he ain't shit. I'm man. all this nigga. I'm all this nigga. I'm gonna come get his man. Look, you gotta see how a nigga treat his female mm. for him to really be around you. And everybody around me treat that girl like a queen. 
because that's where they are. And that's why I got them around me. All my friends got girlfriends and they got baby mothers or whatever and, and on their way to get married. That's the, that's the ending goal. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't pushing for people to get like marriage and all that shit for just to get married. Get married because you want to get married. Not because you feel like it's been four years or three years and then you get a marriage and then it ain't what it is. Mm -hmm. Everybody might change later on just because of the title. We got to take time with this shit. I'm going to keep it 100. <clears throat> I think I want to get married because I know that the importance of it for my woman. Mm -hmm. Like me, I don't really care about it, but I know like women want security. You know, mm -hmm. women want they want they want to feel mm -hmm. appreciated. They want that ring. Mm -hmm. So like for me to be honest, like I want to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Like I never really grew up thinking about it, but mm -hmm. you know, I want family, and and I feel mm -hmm. like you already give me that. Mm -hmm. So because you give me what mm -hmm. I want, mm -hmm. I want to give you what you want. To mm -hmm. be honest, you mm -hmm. feel me? Like I want a family. I want and to be honest, it's like it's kind of unfair. I swear I'm not trying to cap, bro, no, but I'm being real. Like, real. you already give me what I want. Mm -hmm. The least I can do is put a ring on it, make sure you good. Yeah, you know, like, because yeah. put a ring literally, yeah. you giving me yeah. what I want. Yeah. I want a family. I want food. I want my house nourished yeah. and nurtured. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah, give that to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. So That's really what do. it is. Yeah, at least it's, you could do. The least I can do is say I appreciate it. And I don't know how you feel about this. And yeah. We can talk about this before we end, but like. Yeah. I'm for like this is kind of random, but it's on par. Mm -hmm. I'm for prenups only because we can have an agreement. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. We can have an agreement of what we what we want to do. Like I feel okay, like a prenup cool. is really just a okay, cool. it's just a contract to the contract. Okay, cool. Like I'm not like we can talk about it together. If you don't want X Y and Z, if you want sign XYZ. that goddamn prenup. Yeah, like sign that prenup. If it if it ain't about no money. It ain't never been about no money. It's about love. Mm -hmm. Sign the prenup. Mm -hmm. What we talking about? That's when I come back and tell you, if you're, if you're a girl of a queen, she'll look at you like, nigga, don't have a disrespect me like that. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? I got my own motion. I need, my, I, I need, I need a prenup I, anyway. I need, Fuck I you, nigga. I need mean. to sign a prenup bitch because I got motion. <laughs> Facts. You fuck around, might take my money. You might take you know my situation. That's that what I need. <laughs> that will turn me on right down the day. I'm like, man, fuck the prenup. You know what I mean? She can, she can have whatever she want. Mm -hmm. This because she on that type of motion. But I don't, I'm so, I'm not no lawyer. No, I don't know. But I feel like a prenup can be both. It can be like, yo, yeah. it's just, it can even be, yeah. it can be to make sure I get X, Y, and Z when yeah. we split. Yeah. And I'm with that. I told, I told my girl before, I said, yo, if you don't do anything for my business at all, you still deserve X, Y, and Z. You know why? Because you're going to be the one that got to deal with me, the backlash of it. If mm -hmm. I'm frustrated, I'm coming home to cuss you out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So for that minimum, you deserve X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that hold can on, be in a hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't ignore that, Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, ain't nobody ever sweating in that gym with you. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nah, nobody nah, I will. I'm going to tell you, you. I'm gonna tell you why. Because okay, as cool. men, okay, cool. I feel like you say you're a closed book. A closed book. But guess, what? guess who you're not a closed book to? My wife. Your wife. And you, I, 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 so ain't for that, I, tend, I tend to be, I tend to be because women don't understand what we go through. But like, not all the they time. They don't. They but well, let's be real though, right. bro. Well, you can't say fuck the world to the world. I come here. Your wife gonna feel a raft of it, and it's unfair. And the same vice versa. Mm -hmm. when, when they when they frustrated, we feel it. When mm -hmm. they can't cuss their boss out, mm -hmm. we gonna feel it. Mm -hmm. When we can't, when I can't be like, man, this nigga ain't even show up for the interview. Fuck this nigga. Mm -hmm. I come home, she complaining about something that's 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 regular. She I'm gonna zap on she her. She, you get what I'm saying? So and I and, and I mean this wholeheartedly and genuinely when I say, if not anything else, you deserve this. Even if you wasn't with me shooting in the gym, yeah. you had to deal with some type of backfire of me shooting in the gym. You you gotta get compensated. <clears throat> Have to get compensated, and that's and that's when I say a prenup. It can be a prenup can be what I'm gonna give you. Okay, you feel me? A no, that's a hundred. That's a hundred and ten percent. I can see that, but I most definitely want people to know that that that, that all women don't get that title, and that, and that, that's what we get wrong at because mm. some women feel entitled. Mm, you feel me? Fact. You don't get that title if you didn't do anything. Yeah, I can't really talk you know about my saying? woman. But yeah, I'm just, I'm, I, mean, I mean, I can't talk about all women. I can talk about my your woman. woman. Your, like, your, my woman your woman, your mm. woman, and my woman. But for yeah. other women. They need to make sure that they putting something on the table that you can sit there and bargain with. Yeah, you know, see, cause, my, cause a nigga most definitely gonna be like, listen, baby, I rent a million dollars outside with these niggas that I keep going outside with, and you in the house is cooking and cleaning. But, but whoa, but, we but, can't but, ignore but, that. But, but but you gotta understand this though, there's a lot of women that get outside with that nigga too, mm. and they go out there and bust some chest with that nigga too. Even if you don't, but listen, well, even if you, I'm glad we having this conversation. Cause she, she it came outside with a, me. It, it depends. She came outside with me. It depends what a nigga feel like though. You gotta understand. She came outside. 
My so girl, she get compensated for that. But guess I don't what? need a housewife and then cuss me out when I'm working all day and trying to figure it out because Ben Loverboy ain't gonna always pay the bills. That's a fact. Ben Loverboy ain't always pay the bills. But guess what? What I will say is, and, and I'm with you, but mm -hmm. I feel like it's what the man wants because me, mm -hmm. my girl don't got to come outside. Mm -hmm. You know why? I'm going to be outside, I'm going to take all the shots, but as long as I'm getting some food in the house, mm -hmm. because guess what, if you wasn't, it's some girls that can't even cook. Mm -hmm. For me, mm -hmm. man, you clean the crib, mm -hmm. you cooking me dinner, mm -hmm. that's, it's not outside, but it's outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if I was by myself, I had to be outside and do that. Yeah. So the fact that you do that, that's a job, we can't ignore that, bro. I'm all right with that. No, that's a job, that's a job, but... It's some folks that I got right now. Like, I got some rich friends right now, billionaire friends. Them niggas got different interests. Them niggas got different different drives, mm. different needs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When you, it's when all you, about the man. When you, when, you, when you reach a different level, I don't just want no motherfucker sitting in my house all day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to double my money. Facts. You trying to just waste my money. You yeah. see what I'm saying? But yeah. but 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 I, I, can, I can hire a maid and a cook and a chef. You feel what I'm saying? What are you bringing to the table? Kim K worth three point two billion dollars. Okay then. But okay then. Well, it's not impossible. It's, it's not impossible. Can I ask you this though? Can I ask you this? They make it seem like it's impossible. Can I ask you this though? We try to belittle them. Your girl right we now. Gotta let them be queens. Can I ask you this? If you, if your girl don't do nothing else, mm -hmm. nothing else right now. Hold up. If your girl don't do nothing else right now, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you can just like she put you in motion. Mm -hmm. You can put something in motion to make her double her worth. If she don't do nothing else right now. And she, and she, and my, look, what's so crazy? My girl will bring home 200K herself. Mm hmm. 200,000 herself. My girl will bring home 200,000 herself off of ads herself. That's what I'm telling you that, that motion is different. Yeah. You gotta have some motion. Yeah. You gotta have some motion. Right. So in my, in my BM, not even my wife, my, my, my fiance, my fiance could bring in 200K a, 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 a year. You gotta bring it something. You feel me? <laughs> You gotta bring it. See, I think I look at it differently. Like me, I don't even want you to bring it to you on the K. You don't have to bring that much. Bring some though. Not, I don't even want you to bring this. Me personally, let me say me. Yeah, personally. yeah. I don't want you to bring it nothing. No, come I'm gonna say, listen, okay, listen. I'm, listening, I'm, listening, I'm, listening. I'm telling you why. I'm because telling, okay. I'm, I'm an emotional nigga. I Hear me you. out. I feel you. I'm a strong motherfucker. Right. Listen, I'm emotional. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of problems with me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Babe, all I need you to do. Mm -hmm. Is don't give me, and this might sound crazy, but look, mm -hmm. be patient with me. Don't give me a lot of complaints. Mm -hmm. A lot of, I'm, I might sound ignorant, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Don't give me a lot of, Yeah. you feel me? Yeah. Cook for me. Mm -hmm. Make sure I got peace. Mm -hmm. If I got peace, I'm going to double whatever we can get. I swear to God, if, I, if you can give me peace, bro. Yeah. I, listen, you don't got to fuck a job. You mm -hmm. don't have to work. You don't gotta do none of that shit. See, see, you go. That's when you go wrong. That I don't mean, think that, that, for that, me. You can't. That's it like for me. No, for you. That's what I'm for saying. Me. Like some women don't always want that position. That's a fact. Ooh, you know what you're saying? talking some, some shit. Some women want to be their own bosses. That's true. That's true. That's it's true. a lot of women that that's don't want to be a housewife. You talking some shit, I'm bro? You, I'm saying. You talk. It's a lot of women that don't want to be a housewife. You talking some? That's they want to be their own boss. If I just said Kim K brought in 3.2 billion dollars. Off her skims line, Kylie Jenner brought in one point whatever whatever she did off her her uh, her cosmetic line. I'm just using these people as example because they're wealthy, and I'm saying if one could do it, all can do it. Facts, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't look at it like you that. A, you got a great you got a great point. Yeah, a lot of people don't look at it like a lot of women trying to change now. But you know what's you know what's crazy? Woman, this I'm not cut you off. My no, bad. you good. You good. This is a woman. This is a woman time. This is a woman time. Women winning. That's a fact. Women getting more money than niggas. Hundred percent. Women getting more money than niggas this year. This all 2022 to 2023, 2024, that we got Biden in the office. Just believe that women will be winning this whole situation in the future. Because we, I could even see us having a woman president in the future. You know what I'm of saying? I really, I really can see it. I can see that. It's time, it's time for that because men have already been dominant. We already dominant. We run the road, we run the show in our world, but they really run the show out the world. I think what what it comes down to, because I feel like we're saying something similar. Mm -hmm. What it comes down to is the communication and understanding that mm -hmm. you guys have a, as a mm -hmm. union. Mm -hmm. Because if you, if you were a chick, and she don't want to be a housewife, but mm -hmm. you trying to force her to be a housewife, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. So I think we're saying something similar. Yeah, it ain't gonna you work. gotta have that union and communication yeah. together. You gotta mm -hmm. have that. Because what mm -hmm. happens is a lot of people we, we see these conversations of a man. It shouldn't be 50-50, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but yeah. 
if you got somebody that's okay with that, uh -huh. that's what makes your household happy. And what happens is well, where we go wrong is we try to force something on somebody else that they don't want. No. So if my girl wasn't okay with being a housewife and I'm like, mm -hmm. yo, you should be a housewife, it would never work. You see, know what I'm saying? See, my biggest fear of housewives is God forbid something happened to me, what's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. She's going to replace me because all she knew how to do is a housewife. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know what I'm saying? If I have a hustler, she don't need no nigga. I don't I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 me pers me personally. I don't, I don't want to go to jail, and I know she getting fucked because she can't be by herself. I mean, but that's but. You what, know what, I'm saying? what if you got a so she can't let me ask you be this. by herself because you enabled her. Let me ask you this though: your girl a hustler, right? Yeah, you said it. Mm. If I meet a hustler, mm -hmm. I ain't talking about. We ain't, I ain't, we ain't talking about. I'm talking about for other future women. Yeah, fuck yeah, future yeah, yeah, women. Yeah. We talking about these women. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. If your girl a hustler, if you meet a girl that's right, a hustler, right? Right. 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 And you know she a hustler. Guess what? She always gonna be a hustler. Mm -hmm. So if I say, "Yo, take a break for a second, she was already she was already a hustler before I met her. Mm -hmm. So if I go to jail, she's still gonna be a hustler. She start getting comfortable. I mean, that's true. But, but... Man, people people start getting comfortable. People start feeling like they need it. Man. It's that word. I need a nigga in my house now. They got so used to you being in the house. I mean, you're right. I told my girl you know she can quit a job. She still ain't quit a job. But do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it's what I'm telling you because we we want to dominate and be so in control. And you don't think another nigga want dominating but that's and being not, control? I don't think that's dominating and being control. I think it's, I think it's a like yo. If you taking bro, I don't think we understand how much of taking care of a household is a job. That's a yeah, job. It's a job, it's a job. So it's not that I want to dominate. It it's ain't, just, it ain't independent though. It ain't no, independent. it's not. It's, it's not. It's team. both. Yeah, it's a team. How you think we pull the kid here? It's a team. She got a job to do. You got a job to do. Mm -hmm. We got a job to do together. Teach me something. You know what I'm saying? So the only way for you to get to the next level, we work together. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? I think I, we said the same yeah, thing. Yeah, we said the same yeah, thing, but you don't want to enable nobody. Yeah. Don't ever think that just because you the man, you run it, they supposed to just fall in line. Mm -hmm. As in like, of course. baby, you stay home. Daddy going to handle this. Yeah. No, 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 but no. But I don't run shit. I don't think you, like, like, bro. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, for, like I'm, a saying car, for, I'm saying for niggas that, yeah, I, that had that we, mindset. We with you. Too. I'm saying, yeah. like, how I look at it, like, a car need fuel. Exactly. For me, I'm exactly. just saying, like, for me, I'm, like, being nurturing yeah. is... Bro, like that, I told like a lot of niggas don't agree with me with mm -hmm. this. Like, I feel like a girl who's nurturing, because I feel mm -hmm. like there's not a lot of girls that's nurturing. A girl who's nurturing, I would take that over any hustler, uh, whatever. I, me, me personally, right? Because my upbringing was different. Yeah, I had I did it by myself mm -hmm. for years. So with or without a girl, you still be good. Basically. I'm gonna be good regardless, exactly. and I don't. It's no disrespect. Yeah. But if I have a girl who can feed that, now guess what? I don't have to go all day without yeah. eating. Yeah. I got my girl cooking me meals. Yes. Now, now when I'm when I'm doing <laughs> interviews, I can drink because I had, I had a full course meal. What I, what you know what I, I'm saying? Like what, what I just had. <laughs> that, you, that's and that's what I mean by that's. I don't want to. I don't want to yeah. get it misconstrued. It's just for me. My, it means yeah, so much. It's it like does. Yo, if you can be nurturing, it does. I would. Man, I got you, babe. It's, 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 it's not. It's not really a. It's not really a me trying to be a man and like over overshadow her. Yeah, situation. I'm not trying to do that. Okay, it's just sure. like I'm trying to treat you like, babe. Make I sure, appreciate you. Yeah, make sure when you have conversations like this, you make sure you have that dialect and that mm. right combo. That right combo because sometimes it can come, come off. On, okay. As in though, because we are aggressive. Okay. You know, we are the dominance. We the ones putting it in them. They're and not it can come it in off, us. It can come off as like you want to be. This you feel me, I like and that. it's automatically gonna be like that because like they that. feel like that. Look at Will so, teach you. I like that. I mean, that's brother. what I do, gang. You know, I got, I got a course coming out. Um, a how to keep a, a happy relationship. That's gonna be my book. How to mm. keep a happy relationship. Um, and I also have a course coming out. How to be popping on, or how to stay relevant on YouTube, or how to get famous on YouTube. I got a few of them that I'm gonna come out with, but my book is gonna be uh how to keep a happy house home and how to keep a happy relationship. I mean, on I social media, on social media, <laughs> for social media. I like that. So it's gonna be very, it's gonna be very like detrimental to people that really need it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people that look at their social media lifestyle and just try to jump in it and try to find the first thing smoking and be like, yeah, let's make YouTube videos together. First of all, gang, listen, you don't, you gotta really know the person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta really know what's going on. You gotta really know her energy. You gotta know his energy. Don't get in bed with this motherfucker and then end up like. And be on the shade room teams and get beat up and he he ain't who you thought he was and you wasting your time and you hurt yourself. It's just a lot that goes into this shit. It's it's easier said than done, but you I gotta write it out for you to know what I'm what I'm talking about. Cause it's not gonna be really the best way for me to explain. Yo, it's so much shit, bro. And it's like 
I ain't going to drag you, bro. Because it's so, it's so much shit. It's like, how do you do that? But you writing a book. Tell me what the fuck with the book. You got a single that, that you just dropped. Yeah, called Run With The Thugs. If you don't know, it's an NFT that's called Trillion That Thugs right now. I wish you would have got into it. I should have had got you in the Trillion That Thugs. You, you need an NFT because the NFT, it was, I bought my NFT for, I bought my NFT for 75, uh, 750, mm. $750. It got sold, it got sold yesterday for 20 bands. Ooh. So, and it's the fastest growing NFT right now. Soldier Boy got one. Justin Bieber got one. We better get Snoop Dogg to get one. Um, Academic, Say Cheese, um, she, she they so cool, On Me, uh, Batman Kevo, uh, Sam. It's, it's so many people that's wealthy and so many people that's lit that got the NFT and that's like shooting the shit to the sky, rocking it. Fucking, I think Forbes even reached out to the folks who were like, yo, y'all going crazy. We want to post you. We want to talk about you guys. Let's do an interview. So it's like going crazy. They got fucking um, billboards in Australia. It's like big, bro. It's like, I ain't gonna lie, this shit crazy. I ain't gonna lie, the NFT world different. And there's a lot of money in this shit. There's a lot of money in this shit. And it's billionaire people. <laughs> it's billionaires. It's like it's I gotta do my research on it's this. It's a shit. different bracket, gang. It's called Trillion Net Thugs. You can check the Discord. I'm gonna put you in the Discord and you will hear the conversation that we have. We got about three hundred to two hundred and ninety people inside of the membership. And um the NFTs was like seven fifty, like about it was almost about seven seven seventy five hundred NFTs that we sold, but it sold in about three hours when we mm. dropped it and, he, and it's only like 200 it was like 2,000 people that was on the white list so this shit sold immediately like it was crazy but right now it's so many people that's trying to grab that damn nft from all the big names i named and there's so many more that's just i don't know gang i ain't gonna lie i just i'm just now getting into it and i see the money that can get out of it but i'm holding my nft i want my nft to be like with me for like eight seven months so the value can grow i'm not in the quick flips i'm not in like grabbing something if try to resell it and that's what a lot of folks doing they grabbing it and reselling it because it's a big flip it can fuck around and be sold for a hundred thousand next month or two hundred thousand next month and i got it for 750. Mm. you know what i mean that's a really really crazy increase so i don't know gang this shit this is how can a, somebody like uh fuck with that yeah bro uh, tricking that thugs how can this oh oh oh, oh oh it's trading that thugs.com it's on it's on it's on open space it's on open i mean open space it's on openc.com um you can go on there openc.com type in trigger that thugs you will see it on there it's a few that's available right now that people are selling but you want to buy yours now if you don't get yours now then you out of you out of date out of line it's it's it's, it's only going to go bigger. It's going to get bigger than Bore Apes, mark my words. Dang. And Bore Apes is the shit that, you know, a lot of these big rappers got. It's going to be bigger than Bore Apes because we we hitting another market. We're not just hitting rappers. We're hitting a whole other market, like real-life TikTokers, real-life people that got, like, um, a different following from different crowds, Australia, Dubai, a different market, bro. We're not, we not, we not even trying to go America with this shit. How can somebody get uh, your track and why, where can they follow you at? Stuff? Uh, running with the Thugs is called Running with the Thugs. I dropped that on all platforms: Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud. It's out now. Apple Music, but it's um, fuck, it's 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 damn, it's all over the place, bro. You can you just, just did the video. Yeah, I, no, I just did the video yesterday. That's what I was gonna say. I'm mad because you was supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah, he bad. was just supposed yeah, to be wonder... in the video. I'm like, damn. I'm like, that would have been so lit if you was in the video. That would have been crazy because. It had the girls kissing girls. It was like, it was, man, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> it was a movie, bro. I ain't going to lie. It was a real movie. We had about 15 people there. And I ain't even had no no mindset of people coming like that. How many people came? They came, pulled up, showed man love. I bought pizza. I got them drinks. We over there bitch smoking, having a good time. Like, damn, they was like, wow, that shit cool. That nigga will cool. And you doing your thing, bro. I, I appreciate you pulling up. Man, I want to put you. this on record. Yeah. We, it's, we've been talking for an hour plus. Mm. We left so much on the table. And what I mean by that is, we ain't, it's so much more we could have talked about. Oh, yeah, it's a lot we could have talked Bro, about. Bro, it's so, like, we talk about some good shit, but it's so much more, like. I want to I wanna make you, like, I want to make you, like, my at-home, my at-home interviewer. Yeah, like, let's so, keep doing it. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, mo, so most shit finna happen, and I got way more shit to talk about. Yeah, so, like, let's keep doing it. Let's keep this going. This is, we're going to name this part one. Part one. Part one. Part one. Uh, Will got the juice. Follow my guy. Will got the juice too, cause he he had an, another page. I did got that. That, <laughs> for, that first page got deleted, but the second page you've been with the second page for a while. Yeah. Man. So, uh, Will got the juice too. Make sure you follow my guy. Yeah. They Conversation know series. Mister underscore J Hill. Follow me. You know what? Bro, I yo. This was 
this was way yeah i i thought we was gonna have a good conversation but this was way better than i expected yeah no i, I ain't gonna lie like i never judge a book by its cover you know what i'm saying never judge a book by its cover because I might keep that shit bottled in, but when it's time to let it out, I'm let it out. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a great conversation so it can actually be displayed the right way. You know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate you, dog. Man, you know, I appreciate you again. We're going to do it again.